Drones responding to 911 calls. It may sound like the future, but it is now reality for Fort Wayne police. It's part of their new drone first responder program. Fox 55 Stephen Walker went to a demonstration today. Tonight, he explains how the program works. Matt Rowland is one of 11 qualified drone pilots in the Fort Wayne Police Department's air support unit. He says getting a drone to a crime scene and relaying live video helps dispatchers handling 911 calls. Being able to get there to, to get that live information, that live view, because sometimes that's hard to portray over the phone. Uh, you think about when folks call 911, they're in distress. They, they aren't thinking as clearly as they, they should be or could be about what's going on. Roland says they recently deployed a drone to a 911 call about a purse snatching. The drone was able to identify and track the suspect until officers arrived and made an arrest. Executive Director of the Fort Wayne Allen County 911 Center, David Bubb, says this added tool kept the victim safe from approaching the man herself. From our standpoint, we weren't running the risk of putting her in danger. Not that we were telling her to go there. In fact, we were trying to do the opposite, but she finally complied when she saw the drone. 72% of the time, the drone arrives on scene before officers. If the drone's controller doesn't see anything worth looking into, an officer never even has to show up. If an officer does need to investigate, they'll have all the information supplied to them from the live feed. Bub says this can really help dispatchers. We're about 95% of our calls are answered and completed in about 2 minutes, 11 seconds. The drone is already on scene at that point in time before we're completing the call and getting it into the CAT system. So it, it's a win-win. And for those worried about privacy, Roland says not to worry. This is not surveillance, not by any means. We are only responding to calls for service, whether they come in by 911 or the desk line or some other means. We're not just randomly patrolling. The drone program does have some limitations. There's only one launch site downtown. It only operates Monday through Friday during daylight hours and if there's good weather. But Roland has a five-year plan where he hopes to use the drone on weekends and at night. That way, they can respond to calls anytime, anywhere. In Fort Wayne, Stephen Walker, Fox 55 News. The drone first responder program has already responded to 100 calls. Roland hopes the department can get clearance for more launch sites around the city so that number can grow. He also wants the public to be aware of the program in case you see a drone overhead.